Hi, Ivan. How are you? Hey, Nir. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Uh, you know, I love your company. I love your team. You guys are everywhere. I have tons of questions. You have tons of release and new, you know, updates. Before we, before we start, maybe tell us a little bit about your role and uh, about MoonPay. What is MoonPay exactly? Yeah, um, so, so MoonPay really simply, we think crypto is the future. We think all value eventually will find its way to the blockchain. Uh, and if you find all this value on the blockchain, the key is you need the backwards compatibility with the existing financial system. So MoonPay is, the way to think about MoonPay is we're building this base layer uh, for the crypto economy to thrive. And what I mean by that, there are really kind of three components of what we do. Uh, we cover KYC and onboarding, obviously different laws and regulations in different parts of the world that we need to follow, uh, anti-money laundering rules. Second piece of what we do is we want to connect every single payment method across every geography while focusing on the very best conversion possible. And the third piece of what we do is the crypto asset delivery. So we source crypto assets from major tier one exchanges and then deliver it physically to the customer's wallet. We really believe in this future that is non-custodial, that is web three, where people are going to be able to interact freely with their identity and their finances in one. Uh, and MoonPay is making that, that journey much, much easier. Wow. And I see MoonPay everywhere. You know, just right now into OpenSea, I see MoonPay. I, I open, you know, even on, on Zengo, I use, I use Zengo because uh, one of our speakers here right now, I see MoonPay. I see you guys everywhere. How do you build that network? What, what, what is the MoonPay network of partner and partnership that I, I'm seeing every day? Yes. So when I start, first started the business, uh, I remember I went to the App Store. And on the App Store, there weren't many mobile wallets where, you know, there, there were a lot of mobile wallets where you could send and receive uh, crypto. And there were, there were just a couple at the time. But you know, what was quite frustrating is if you wanted to top up your wallet, um, you had to go to an exchange like Coinbase, buy your cryptocurrency, then move it to your wallet, which is just a lot of friction for the customer. And so we found that there was an opportunity. We were put in touch with Bitcoin.com. We started to research Bitcoin.com. And they had a, a solution at the time that made it easy to purchase Bitcoin directly on the website. And uh, my co-founder, Victor, and I started with building an API for Bitcoin.com to improve that experience. And then we realized that every single wallet in the world would need the same functionality. Uh, it doesn't make sense for you to leave the app experience for you to you know, top up your crypto and start interacting with Web3. Um, and so as soon as we saw it working for Bitcoin.com, uh, a lot of it was me getting on a plane, uh, meeting with a lot of the early stage founders and saying, hey, uh, we can solve this kind of big challenging problem for you uh, with a plug and play widget. And from there, um, over the pandemic, we just saw an incredible amount of growth. I think the pandemic was a black swan event for everyone, uh, people understanding that the future is digital. Um, and we saw just tremendous growth with these wallets. And so, you know, we keep humble. We have a lot of work to do uh, to keep improving the service. But, uh, you yeah, know, we're, we're very lucky to have amazing partners uh, all around the world uh, that use MoonPay's infrastructure uh, to make it easier for their, their customers to onboard into crypto. So what, you were in the right time with the right company, with the right infrastructure and knowledge and experience. Like, because I'm seeing you everywhere. So I'm like I'm trying to see how does this company come and position itself among, like as a leader in this space? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just mindset, right? Um, you know, this wasn't an overnight success for us. Uh, I still don't consider it an overnight success. Um, this was, you know, five or six years of at least my career in the making. Um, you know, I started my career more on the traditional finance side. I used to do work in portfolio construction for large institutional investors. So I kind of saw crypto as kind of part of the wider financial universe and this new asset class. And then, you know, I'd spent, uh, you know, the, the early part of my career uh, really starting to, my first company was really around uh, trying to solve a big problem in fintech, which was connecting to your bank account and sweeping money into a savings account so you could invest. Uh, it was a very difficult business to scale, but I learned a lot around payment systems. So, you know, I think just, you know, there's never like a linear path, I think, to, to success. You know, for me, it was definitely a bit of a squiggly line, but a lot of the stuff that I was learning was super relevant when it came to kind of starting MoonPay uh, in terms of understanding the payments landscape, understanding the asset class kind of universe and trying to find our role within it. But, you know, I think the, the thing that carries me on and, and kind of the mindset I try to really instill inside of the company is around Kaizen. Uh, and Kaizen literally means in Japanese, uh, change for better. 
Um, and so our mindset as a company is we just try to get a little bit better every single day. You know, we don't have a perfect solution um, and it's a very challenging problem to solve. You know, obviously some banks don't like crypto, uh, you know, certain parts of the world, you know, ban crypto outright like China. Um, and so we have to navigate that landscape as best as we possibly can. And our mindset is we just want to get 1% better every single day. And if we get 1% better every single day, that translates into 3,700% uh, performance over a year, uh, which is kind of close to what we've done, uh, but we still obviously have uh, a lot more work to do, hopefully a lot more growth ahead of us uh, as the crypto economy you know, continues to flourish and amazing applications get built. You know, For us, it's not just the success of MoonPay, it's the success of all these entrepreneurs uh, around the world building incredible applications to make you know, crypto actually have an impact on people's lives. You know, I think you know, the, the one thing I'll say is I think the media um, has really, you know, in terms of the, the educational gap around what crypto can mean, for me, it's billions of people around the world didn't have access to financial services. You know, crypto comes from the word cryptography, and we have a public and private key, uh, you know, cryptography that underpins, you know, the technology behind cryptocurrency wallets. And as long as you have an internet connection, you can spin up a cryptocurrency wallet and you can immediately go from being unbanked if your country doesn't have any good banking services or it's dangerous, you can immediately set up a cryptocurrency wallet and receive value from anyone anywhere in the world, like this QR code right here. You just scan it and be able to send money to, to anyone. So to me, that's just super powerful, this democratizing nature of crypto. Crypto is about power back to the user. Uh, and we really think it's you know one of the most important things to be working on. Uh, so it keeps me excited every single day. I love it. And I saw you at the Bitcoin conference in Miami. I met your team. Um, so I'm seeing like you're not only a leader who cares about his company, but you care about your industry. You want to uh, help educate, connect, collaborate. Your answer is usually yes, let's do things. Big campaigns, festivals, you know, you're part of a bigger, you know, um, bigger picture here. And, uh, and that's great. Uh, tell me, so so if companies wants to work with uh, with MoonPay, I understand that you are powering wallets. You spoke about it, but you're also empowering, uh, um, you know, um, uh, NFT marketplaces, as we mentioned, right? So is that a different category of products that you have? Like if somebody goes to your website, what do they see? What services do you have? Yeah, no, really good question. So um, you know, I think you know one thing that you can you touch on right there is NFTs. Um, I think NFTs are part of the wider movement of crypto. Uh, I actually see NFTs as the gateway drug for billions of people to get interacting with crypto uh, in a way that makes sense, right? Uh, for some people, obviously, Bitcoin is the future in terms of a new digital money. Um, but you know, for me, NFTs are super interesting. Uh, the reason why NFTs are so interesting is every artist, musician, athlete, celebrity, influencer has very valuable intellectual property that in the past, um, you know, you'd have an agent or a third party intermediary uh, that controlled all that value. Uh, and you've probably heard of stories, you know, some artists, they don't own their own masters, their own music. They have an agent that controls that. Um, what's really powerful with NFTs, we're very early in the overall adoption cycle. I would say, you know, there's still, it's quite a primitive format. We're still working it out. I think there'll be boom and bust cycles, just like we saw uh, with you know the majority of tokens in crypto over 2017 and the altcoin boom that you saw and bust, um, you know I think with NFTs we'll probably go through a similar path. But what's so powerful is you have you know who, all these creators, all these influencers have incredible presence, right? Um, in terms of followings, um, and I think they can be the leaders that bring more and more people uh, into crypto. And so for us, it was a really important decision to make. Um, we wanted to we looked at the NFT user experience of trying to buy an NFT. And to be honest, today it's far too complicated. And I say that with you know our solution being available on amazing platforms like OpenSea. We're constantly trying, you know, going back to that Kaizen mindset, we're constantly trying to improve that. And in my view, you know, I see I see OpenSea kind of like the new eBay um, and MoonPay kind of playing a role very similar to PayPal, right? Um, if you remember, eBay was all auction driven. Uh, and then eventually you had a buy it now feature that made it really simple for people just to check out. Um, we're looking at a very similar experience for making it easier for people to check out NFTs. And so uh, that will be upcoming hopefully soon across a number of different platforms, but we've invested a lot of energy uh, and really looking at how do we remove as much friction as possible from the user so they can be more like a traditional e-commerce experience in terms of checking out your uh, NFT. And so um, that is obviously another product uh, that we think is going to be a great 
diversifier to our overall growth. And ultimately, our game is the more volume we do across, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's a stable coin, whether it's Ethereum, whether it's Solana, uh, whether it's an NFT, the more volume we do, the better our unit economics get, right? Because every single part of our stack, whether it comes down to the KYC checks that we're running, uh, the payments, uh, the different payment methods that we're using, uh, the crypto that we're delivering, the more that we do, the cheaper it gets, and we can pass on those savings to our users. So um, that's why we want to cover as many things uh, as possible as we continue to scale the business. You know, something that I, I saw recently, because I'm from the, you can say the early adopters community and the product hunt community, I saw that you had, a, you launched on product hunt like one day, I think you took a 0% fee or something, and you made the whole internet like celebrate this uh, cryptocurrency and MoonPay, you know, uh, announcements, right? Yeah, well, well, Product Hunt was super cool. Uh, I've had a ton of respect for that Product Hunt team. Uh, I remember when I was building my first startup, Product Hunt got very popular during that time. And I remember at one point, uh, I remember the, during the time of CryptoKitties, um, you know, you, there was a special Product Hunt CryptoKitty that they had. Uh, it was called the Ship Cat. And it's like a sailor, it's a cat like wearing like the sailor outfit. Uh, and so we decided to acquire one uh, from MoonPay and give it away uh, to someone that used it during the day. So part of it was just kind of nostalgia uh, in, in, my, in my mind, like I wanted to be uh, doing something cool on, on Product Hunt. Uh, it was super competitive during the day. Uh, you know, I'm a bit gutted. We didn't get the number one spot, even though that we got the most votes. But I think we're one of the top crypto products uh, of all time on, on Product Hunt. So super proud of the team. A lot of effort went into that. Um, but, um, you know, there, there's just so much opportunity to get people engaging with crypto uh, in a positive way. And, and for us, you know, if we can make the first transaction free, uh, we're definitely going to be doing more experiments like that uh, in the future, especially as we continue to grow the business. I, I love it. I think it was, uh, you know, any way that you can uh, engage in, in new audiences. And I know you're about to launch several things. You mentioned NFTs and partnerships. And putting your you out there and, and i think if i understand from your messaging you're trying to make it simple the experience simple and and and, and educate and do it this is the focus of the company right it's like like you said the the um the button on the ebay platform that was so simple so that's that's your vision yeah and and sometimes we won't be first to market right i think for us we like to learn we like to study we like to look at what's out there and for us, it's just about, you know, I would say we're not complete zero to one innovators. Uh, I'd say we're maybe like 0.5 to one or hopefully 0.5 to like 1.5. We try to improve on, on what exists out there in the market. So we, we study all the different things. And for me, crypto is just too complicated, right? Uh, for most people, you know, going setting up a private key, remembering a string of words, um, you know, having an experience where your card gets blocked by your bank, and then you have to basically deal with your bank. We're really trying to think about how do we make that easier? Because there's no way that we're going to bring billions of people into the space if it stays as complicated. So, you know, that goes back to, you know, we constantly got to be tweaking, constantly got to be making things better. Great. How can people join the team? It sounds like a great team you have there. Yeah, well, well, we're always uh, searching for amazing, talented people. Um, you know, I think the, the most important thing uh, in my role, right, um, as CEO, is it's really about building the best team. Um, you know, it's not about me. It's about building a really team, good team that works really well together. Um, you know, we like to think of ourselves as kind of like athletes on the field. Uh, and uh, we're, we're in a high performance sports of, of business. Uh, and we want to be extremely, you know, we, we have a big opportunity to shape uh, what we think to be the kind of the future of the crypto industry. So we're looking for passionate people, looking for humble people. Uh, we have five values, uh, and I can name them actually. So it's, it's actually easy to remember. It's be humble, lead with empathy, own it, clear and concise communication, and Kaizen. And if you take the first letter of each of those, uh, it's block. Uh, so we're looking for uh, blocks uh, for our blockchain uh, at MoonPay. So uh, we're, if, you, if any of those kind of values resonate with you, uh, we'd love for you to reach out. Um, you can reach out directly. We have a careers page um, where um, you, your application will get filtered to the right person. But we're constantly on the search uh, for great people. You know, that's what's going to make the difference of us uh, getting to you know, our ultimate objective of bringing a billion people into crypto by 2030. Take it as a compliment. I uh, interviewed all the speakers here on the summit. I never, I never ask uh, how can people join the company. It's not something that I usually ask. It's just because I think that because of these values and the roadmap, and everything that I mentioned, you know, and, and, and it's even hard for me to keep track because almost 
every couple of days I hear about a new partnership or something new, even as these small features um, that you post on your blog, on your socials, that, that teaches me something else that you're trying to solve, like uh, the little pieces of, of the big puzzle, like, like, like you described. So um, I really think you're doing, a, your team is doing a great job. Again, the product hunt campaign was, you know, one example. Uh, the other, you know, working with the NFTs, with the merchants, um, it, it, looks, it looks really, really amazing. Anything that you want to add that maybe I missed between all these partnerships, something or I, I covered like most of the things. No, no, I think I think did a great job, and and thank you for uh, all the kind words. Um, you know, again, we we always just kind of remember with our first value of just staying humble. Uh, there's still so much work to do um, to get crypto in the hands of more people uh, and having a positive impact. Um, you know, I think that's that's the most important message to take away is you know, crypto can be a positive thing, um, and I think we we've celebrated a lot about the gains, right? And uh, you know, it's it's great. Um, you know, obviously. Um, I think the gains and generally the market activity on a macro level is bringing a lot of interest into the space. But beyond that, it's like we have to step back and think, you know, how does this make people's lives better? Right. And I think the example I mentioned before around billions of people around the world, they don't have access to, uh, you know, good financial service products. So that's just a mass massive opportunity in itself. You know, there's just so many opportunities. It's kind of like the what I, what I tell people is it's very difficult, you know, just like the Internet. And it's early days, like it was very difficult to predict, you know, no one would predict, you know, Facebook, then Snapchat, then TikTok. Uh, I don't think anyone would predict a TikTok, right? But it's kind of similar with crypto. We're still in the very early phases of these applications. And so, you know, for us, it's all about empowering these entrepreneurs. And if we can make it easier for their lives to comply with regulation and onboard customers from the payment methods that they're already familiar with, um, you know, we think that that's going to drive more and more great innovation in the space. And so we're, we're super excited to support it. Great job. Uh, how can people stay in touch with you? I guess the, the, the website or the LinkedIn, yeah. anywhere else, Twitter? Uh, on LinkedIn, uh, you know, we, we, we try to post a lot of educational posts around, you know, what are these different blockchains? What are the different uh, activities that are happening in the space? We think education is a key pillar for us um, when it comes to our customers and our partners and also showcasing, putting the spotlight on our partners because they're the ones building the incredible applications that, that have these real world impact. But you can find us on Twitter at MoonPayHQ. Um, we, we just opened up an Instagram uh, at MoonPay. Um, so we're on all these different social channels. Feel free to follow us. Uh, I'm, I, I'm at isodorite uh, on Twitter. I do respond to DMs uh, as best as I possibly can. Um, I love getting feedback on how to make the product experience better. So. Um, no, thanks again, Nir. Uh, it was great uh, to, to be here and uh, excited for, for the rest of the summit. Yeah, please uh, stay as much as you can and uh, we'll definitely follow up. I already have a, a team that is doing amazing in the NFT space, actually two teams, who really wants to connect and partner with you. So uh, amazing. We'll, we'll follow up. <laughs> thanks so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.